Folks, I am about to show you how to turn a $13,000 investment into $2,262,000. Actually, $2,262,326. And it's a $13,450 investment. If that sounds incredibly specific, it's because it is. Because I've literally laid out all the numbers for you. And this is an investment anyone could make. You can acquire this $13,000 in six months. And you will pay off the $13,000 in six months. But at the end of the investment, folks, you're going to have over $2.2 million. And all you need to do is live in your house. That's it. It's called house hacking. I did it myself. It's what helped propel my multi-million dollar real estate business. And today I'm going to work with one of my clients to show him how. And I'm going to show all of you how you could do this in any market in the USA. And guess what? All you have to do is work for six months with a nice little side job. You could do it driving Uber. Literally six months of Uber driving on top of your daily life. That's all you got to do. And you have the money to make this $2.2 million, $2 million investment anywhere in the USA. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Your boy Jay Wise here, and I am working with my guy Nick. Now, Nick is from the Cleveland market, Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, that's actually where I'm from. That's where I built my real estate empire, so to speak. What we're going to be talking about, folks, making this $2.2 million. I don't want you guys to focus too heavily on Cleveland. That's honestly irrelevant, right? Uh, that's where I'm from. That's where Nick's from. Uh, my company, we do help people invest in real estate. Uh, what I'm going to teach you guys today through Nick uh, is actual property. Like I have the numbers written here. This is a real property. I'm going to be pulling it up. Uh, Nick has the opportunity to actually buy this property. This video is sent to Nick uh, in real time, right? So y'all watching this probably ain't going to see this video for like six, eight months after it went out. But this will work no matter where you live, right? If you live in Detroit, if you live in Austin, Texas, Tallahassee, Florida, I don't, it'll work wherever. Uh, but if you want to like partner with my company and invest in real estate, uh, you would have to do so in the Cleveland market. We are a licensed real estate brokerage in Ohio. Uh, so we can actually help you purchase these types of investments if you're in Cleveland. If not, uh, just get the education, you know, just learn a little something and apply these principles, folks, because this is not some BS scam. I'm not asking y'all to like send me money so I can build you some like Amazon store or some BS, right? This is just pure fundamentals, but they don't teach you this crap in school. And they should, right? What I'm about to do is show this man how just by living his life and making smart decisions and working a little bit harder for six months, he's going to set himself up with $2.2 million. This is what they should be teaching kids when they're graduating high school. But instead, they got kids dissecting frogs like what ne dude when i was in high school we dissected a frog okay do you know how much that has helped me uh feed my family in my life uh like not a lot at all okay surprisingly dissecting a frog is a useless uh skill you could acquire uh but you know understanding how money works and not being reliant upon the government and being financially free <laughs> apparently they don't think that stuff's important in the curriculum but y'all here on Holton Wise TV so we don't BS around with that stuff we teach y'all what to do now Nick my main man let's check this out right you came to me you're like James I heard you do a little thing called house hacking and that's what we're doing folks house hacking but that is just a fancy way of saying the roof over your head, folks, you better own that thing, okay? You don't want to be part of the nation of renters, right? I make a lot of fucking money collecting rent, okay? Like, a lot of fucking money, right? So, I'm not trying to poo-poo on 
uh, like landlords, because like I'm a landlord and it's awesome. But guys, you shouldn't be out there filling rich bastards pockets like me anymore. You need to be filling your own pockets. And this castle looking ass motherfucker is the property that I have identified for you, Nick, to teach you how to do this. By the way, I did the strategy too, house hacking. I did it when I was 21. And we're going to utilize uh, this property as uh, your example, Nick. And we'll go over to long-term numbers as if you were purchasing at the age of 21. I know you're a young cat. I don't know exactly how old you are. I never asked. Uh, but we're going to assume you're going to buy this at 21 and you're going to live till the ripe old age of 80. And then you're going to kick the fucking bucket. Because, I mean, you're 80, dog. What the hell else are you going to do besides kick the bucket? You're either, I mean, when you're 80, dude, you wake up in the morning and you're doing one of two things. You're either not dying or you're dying. You know what I'm saying? But this is the apartment. Now, one of these units is empty. It's two two-unit building, okay? One's empty. Uh, one is where you're going to live, right? Because you have to live somewhere. Remember, the roof over your head, you got to pay for it. And that's where all this money is going to come from. The other unit, right? This is the empty unit. The unit uh, you just saw, Nick, that's being rented for like, uh, I wrote it down. That unit is being rented currently, long-term tenant for 1200 But you, what you want to do and what we're going to have you do is after that tenant eventually moves out, you're going to operate the other unit as an Airbnb, and that's what's going to help you make all this money. That's going to change your life, okay? That in addition to you not wasting your money on rent. So right now you're getting 1200 the day you buy this sucker, uh, but then you're going to turn that into an even larger amount of monthly cash flow by renting it on a short-term basis because you'll increase your cash flow a little bit, and that's how I'm going to get you to the 2.2 milli by the time your old ass kicks the bucket. So here's the other unit, right? So it's you know it's a fairly nice property, right? Just you know a very nice property, and uh, it's in an area called Shaker Heights. So I'll go over the address in one second, but it's just quite nice. This is uh, just a very 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 nice area. It's right close to downtown Cleveland. Uh, this is like a, a place where like you get a lot of doctors, lawyers that live over in Shaker Heights because. Uh, uh, it's right downtown, and then go to the courthouse and the hospitals. Actually, weird fun fact, right? I didn't realize this because there's a lot of rich people in Shaker Heights, and uh, through the power of real estate, I am rich now. Was not rich before uh, when I was younger. Never even met anybody uh, that lived in Shaker Heights. My first experience with this in Shaker Heights, I was like, I don't know, 23, 24, working at Invisible Fence. Uh, it's for dogs, you know. They try to go past the line. They get zapped, which actually is a pretty sweet product. Still use it for my dogs today. But anyway, so that's the first time I'm ever in Shaker Heights, right? I'm from the west side of Cleveland. This is on the east side. People from the west side don't usually go to Shaker Heights. Uh, it's just like there's kind of like an east-west divide in Cleveland. So I never met anybody from Shaker. never been in Shaker. But I'm in Shaker Heights. Screw up, kid. Not a lot of money. Just freaking digging in dirt, rich people's dirt, uh, installing underground dog fence wire. And uh, I see the garbage trucks going down, and I ain't never seen this before. In Shaker Heights, the way they collect garbage, uh, you don't take it out to the curb like normal people. In Shaker Heights, the, dump, uh, the garbage truck drives down the street, and then they stop, and then uh, dudes get out and get into a golf cart, or like the golf cart follows it. I think the golf cart follows the dump truck. Now that I think about it, I don't remember how... Was the golf cart on like a trailer? No, no, I think the golf cart just fucking followed it. But moral of the story is the dump truck drives down the street, never leaves the street. People don't take the garbage to the curb. Dudes get into a golf cart. They drive the golf cart into your backyard in Shaker Heights. Then they put your garbage cans on the golf cart. Then they drive the golf cart back. Then they dump it into the garbage truck. And then they put it back on the golf cart. And then they drive back into your backyard. And that's how they do the garbage in Shaker Heights. So... Well, story. A lot of rich people live there. It's a very nice neighborhood. That's why it's going to make a decent amount of money with you doing Airbnb, right? And that's key, right? Because that's going to help you make the money. That's how we're going to do this house hacking strategy, right? Here is the deal. This particular property is available to buy for 269000 But this is real estate. I think a lot of people that rent, they don't understand. Yeah, you could buy this thing for two sixty nine, but you don't pay two sixty nine. people. You have a decent job, decent credit. You don't need very much money. The bank has already approved you, Nick, for up to $300,000. You all got to put down 5%, bro. 5%. If we're talking 100 bucks, you put down $5, bank kicks in 95, right? So in this particular instance, 
$13,450. That's all you need, and you're going to be able to buy this house, right? The bank's going to kick in $255,550. So when I talked earlier about anybody could do this, like I, I feel like a lot of people, they're just like trapped in their own thoughts. Like, oh, I could never be a homeowner. I'll never get three hundred grand. Easy for this rich asshole to say. He's probably got three hundred grand. He could buy the house for two sixty nine. Well, bro, you don't, you don't need two sixty nine, folks. You only need thirteen thousand four hundred fifty. And if you're gonna cry and, and, and say like, oh, I work full time. I don't have any money. I don't have an extra thirteen grand. Okay, drive Uber for six months. I can't. I already work forty hours. Okay, fuck you. I work like eighty hours a week. Still, I don't even have to, but I do. Like, don't be a fucking pussy. Just fucking work more, people. Six months. Six months, it'll change your life. If you are working 40 hours a week right now and you have just enough money to get by, for the next six months, commit yourself to driving Uber. And you'll make 13450 I don't know. I never drove Uber. I would, you probably, I'm guessing, could make that in a lot less than six months. All right? But, like, I'm being nice. I'm being easy on you. Okay? Commit to six months of doing more then what you're currently doing, acquire 13450 Then you could be like Nick, buy a property like this, 269000 okay? Now, here's how this is going to work. Nick, you're going to live in the 3-2, okay? Because it's your house now. It's your castle. <laughs> and actually, it is a ca it's like literally actually a castle. Your castle, is a your castle is an actual castle, Nick. Like I said, this is a fancy-smancy neighborhood, okay? They drive golf carts to take out the trash. That's that's wild. Am I right? Anyway, so you're living in your fancy schmancy castle now. It's a 3-2. And then the other unit, gross rent, if we do short-term uh, short rentals, 4650 Okay, that would be 55800 But we're not going to utilize that number is our actual number because that would be pie in the sky. That'd be like me being on here like all those Amazon guru dudes who are like, Dog, give me money and you'll make a sweet Amazon store and you don't got to work. No, no, no. You're going to do some work here, okay? First of all, you already did six months of Uber or like whatever you do. I don't know. Maybe you're selling dream catchers on Etsy for those six months. I don't know what the hell you're doing, but you need to do six months on top of your current job, okay, to acquire this 13000 if you don't already have the 13000 Don't be pussies out there. Six months. That's all you got to do. All right, so you put in your six months. You've got this property, okay? You're not actually going to get 55800 a year, though, folks. That would be insane. Uh, it's a short-term rental in this particular market. Now, wherever you live, folks, it's going to be different. But this particular market, and this is why people like Nick partner with my team when we do these deals in Cleveland because it's sold $200 million for the stuff. I know what I'm doing. We're seeing approximately 38% vacancy here. So that means... In reality, you're only going to, after factoring in the vacancy and some of your fixed and variable expense estimates like taxes and things of that nature, you're really only going to make a clear profit of about seventeen fifty a month. Now, take a look at those property taxes, by the way. Woo, six sixty seven a month. That's what happens when you have to pay the city to take your garbage out with a fucking golf cart. But hey. You want luxury, you got to pay for it, baby. All right, so 1749.09, guys. Stick with me. That is going to be your monthly profit, okay? Now, this is you, Nick. You're doing the Airbnb, bro. This is also now your new part time job, okay? You're done with the Uber. You already saved the 13 grand. Now you're doing the Airbnb shit. You're putting the shit on the internet. You know, you're cleaning up the units when the tenants move out. You're cutting the grass. You're making it look good, right? Nothing's free in this world, okay? If y'all thought it was going to be free, again, I suggest you take a look at all those dudes trying to sell you those online store things or whatever the hell those are. Or maybe look into, like, some of those Bitcoin people. I'm sure there's, like, some Bitcoin uh, freaking coaching call that you can get on and they could tell you how to get rich. Anyway, 174906 every month. That's going net out to approximately 20989 a year. Now, this is uh, estimates, right? Not every year not going to be the same, okay? There's going to be variables here, but that's about what I think you make. But, folks, remember, you don't actually get to keep that 20000 almost 21000 You don't get to keep that because you still got to pay off that loan, okay? Don't forget, you only put down thirteen grand, but you did buy a $270,000 asset. So you have a $255,000 loan you got to pay off, right? So you take your NOI, the seventeen forty nine, 
and then we take out the mortgage. You got to pay back the lender. That leaves you with free cash, 672, right? And if you were to live in this particular unit, because you got to live somewhere, right? There's no scenario where you don't have to live somewhere, Nick. You'd be paying 1400 So not only are you not paying 1400 in rent, you get to live there for free. You get $672 every month in your pocket. That's an extra eight Gs on top of your job every single year just for living in this house and taking care of it as a short-term rental. Airbnb, VRBO. Uh, there's like this one we rent to nurses, which this would be really, really good because you're right close to the hospitals, dude. Like, uh, I can't even think of the, the platform you use. Uh, put it in the comments, the platform that you rent to nurses. I cannot think of it off the top of my head. Uh, but this right here, this is where you want to be, you specifically, Nick, because uh, you get a lot of people. Again, they want to like doctors, nurses, lawyers, to people downtown. Oh, boy. Good stuff. Okay. So, between the money you're actually earning from the short-term rentals of your other unit and the savings of 16 Gs a year, because you do have to live somewhere. You can't just not live somewhere. You can't be a ghost. I mean, I guess you could live in your mom's basement, but then you'll never see boobs. And who wants to live like that? You know what I'm saying? So, that will be 24864 okay? Now... Told you it'd only take you six months to pay off your thirteen grand, folks. That's 185 percent uh, cash on cash return, right? You invested thirteen grand, and within one year, it's already paid for itself twice, right? You're at almost twenty five grand. So in six months, you paid off your complete investment. So anything after that is complete cherry, free for the rest of your life, right? Unlimited return essentially, because you already paid off your investment. Now, if you're wondering where I got that crazy two point two million dollar number, the very specific number of two million two hundred sixty two. 326 this is how i did my first house hack remember i told you i ain't grow up with any money y'all i didn't have a lot of money when i did my first house hack i wasn't even working at invisible fence yet looking at the golf cart people uh, that was when i was like 23 or 24 when i was 21 is when i did my first house hack i was humping a crappy job managing a radio shack making 30 grand a year right so again anybody out there is like don't oh, have 13 grand he's for this guy to say don't be a fucking pussy Work hard for six months. You could do it. If you can't do it, you're a pussy. I don't know why you're still watching the video. I'm not sure. This is not for pussies. This is for people ready to work. Now, when I was 21 is when I did my first house hack, humping this crappy job, managing a radio shack, 30 Gs a year. Not a lot of money, okay? Now, with the $30,000 salary... Okay, I was able to do my first house hack at 21. We're just going to assume that you're going to live till you're 80, right? Because that's, you know, that's basically the age folks are living to. I'm not sure if you'll make it to 80, Nick. I hope you will. But we're going to say you're going to make it to 80. So that means you're going to live in this property for 59 years if you bought it at 21. So... That 24,864 number, that now becomes 1,466,976. And where am I going to get the remaining 800,000? Well, when you do these loans, this $255,000 loan, these are 30 year loans, right? Well, 59 years, that's the thing twice, right? So you make that cash flow after paying the loan, folks. So then when you get to 30 years, you go ahead and refi it again. You get that same loan again. So that's another 255550 okay? On top of that, when you're ready to kick the bucket, Nick, you own an asset. You didn't just pee away your money for the last 60 years to some landlord letting him get rich and fat. No, no, no. You retain the value. And I'm putting a value on the house at that point of 539800 What I did there is I just doubled the price of the house. It's 60 years in the future, so I'm not 100% sure exactly how much the house is going to be worth 60 years in the future, but that's what I'm going with. I mean, if, if you guys know how to tell the future and you guys could know exactly what something's going to be like six, 60 friggin' years in the future, you might make more money than me because you got a crystal ball apparently. But if we take those three numbers... 1,466,976, which is 
Remember, that's the actual cash flow and the rental savings, right, for 59 years, plus 255000 because the loan, you paid it off in 30 years, so you get to do it twice, right? You get an extra 255 just like halfway through it, right? So if you did that when you're 21, 31, 41, 51, still live in the house, boom, you get a big old check from the bank for another 255 k and then you continue making your 24 k every single year, and then when you're ready to die, you left your family with 539,800. That, folks, is 2,262,326 over the course of your lifetime. And all you had to do was own the house you live in, not piss away your money on rent. And again, no criers, no complainers, no excuse givers. It only took 13,000. All you had to do was drive Uber for six months. Sell dream catchers on Etsy for six months. Whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't know. Maybe you make like fancy bead fucking wrist things. I don't know what you want to do. But the moral of the story is anyone can do this. You just can't be a fucking pussy. So no fucking pussies out there, right? Now, as for you, Nick, if that makes sense, if you'd like me to put in the offer for you on this property and be your real estate broker and help you actually take this deal down, I can do so. Everybody else who's watching, if you're in the Cleveland market, don't call my office trying to like buy this house. Don't call the guys on the phone like, I saw a video. I got 13 grand. I want to get 2 million. Give me the castle. Like, dude, I sent this to Nick literally like six months ago privately, guys. If you're in the Cleveland market and you would like me to help you find actual properties like this to utilize this strategy, uh, click the notes below the video and book a free call with my team. We'll talk to you how you could work with me as your real estate broker. I know a thing or two about real estate. I've sold $200 million in the Cleveland market. If you are not in the Cleveland market, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope maybe, just maybe just a little bit, you're just a little extra motivated to stop paying rent and start owning the house you live in because it could very much change the trajectory of your life. We just went through on a real property, on a line-by-line -line basis, how you can have an additional $2.2 million, right? My estimate is $2,262,326. Of course, that's not exact. Who can predict 60 years in the future? But, folks, there is a reason why people in the United States of America who own property are a lot more wealthy per capita than people who do not. And I just explained it to you. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.